Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I'm going to explain you more about uh, shared uh, view model and uh, also show you how to use it uh, inside your project. So uh, first uh, let's start with the basics. What is this uh, so-called uh, shared view model? You might be thinking that uh, we are talking about uh, some new class uh, called uh, shared view model. Well, uh, I must uh, disappoint you because uh, shared view model is uh, nothing but a regular view model class which uh, is sharing its uh, instance with uh, multiple fragments. And uh, if you are not familiar with uh, view models, uh, I highly suggest you to watch uh, my video tutorial where uh, I have explained uh, everything you need to know about it. Uh, so far you might got uh, used on uh, having a single view model instance per fragment. So uh, when you regularly instantiate uh, one view model in your fragment, it's uh, often scoped to a life cycle of your fragment, right? And uh, by scoping that uh, one view model to a single fragment, you cannot share values between uh, multiple fragments, which kinda makes sense. Now, uh, for example, if you want to save a simple value in a local variable inside your uh, regular view model, uh, which is scoped to a fragment A, uh, then you wouldn't be able to retrieve that uh, saved value from fragment B, for example. And uh, in order to share values from the same view model instance between uh, multiple fragments, you need to scope a view model to an activity instead. So uh, why inactivity, you might be asking? Uh, well, it's because uh, if you are using a navigation component in your project, Project, you are probably hosting all your fragments inside a single activity. Uh, that way all your fragments uh, will be scoped to an activity lifecycle or in other words your fragments will live as long as your activity lives. Uh, with that in mind uh, we will be able to share a single view model instance between uh, multiple fragments and uh, that way use a shared view model. Sound simple? Well, it actually is. And uh, now enough theory, let's see some uh, practical examples. Okay, so this is uh, my uh, simple project which I have uh, already made and uh, here I have a single activity and uh, two fragments. So as you can see both of those uh, fragments are uh, almost the same and they have uh, one edit text and uh, one button and uh, what we are trying to achieve here uh, basically we want to be able to save and uh, read uh, one uh, variable from our uh, view model in both of those fragments. So uh, for example if I save uh, one uh, country name in a view model from our first fragment uh, we want to be able to read that uh, same value from our second fragment as well and uh, vice versa. So now let's uh, create uh, one simple uh, view model class and I'm going to name this uh, view model a uh, shared uh, view model. So this class uh, should inherit from a view model of course and uh, here I just want to create uh, two variables and uh, one function. So this first one will be named uh, underscore country and I'm going to use a mutable uh, live data of a type uh, string of course and uh, here we can set a default value for our uh, country and I'm going to say here uh, Serbia for example. Okay so we can remove this uh, string from here because we have already defined the default value and uh, the type is uh, omitted and here I can write a public uh, variable uh, which will be a read only variable so I'm going to name this variable country and the type should be a live data so a read only of a type string of course and we're going to set the value of our country from this uh, underscore country. So here uh, we are having a backing uh, property and uh, we want to expose uh, only this uh, second variable, a read only variable to our fragments and uh, this uh, mutable live data should be available only inside our uh, view model, okay? And uh, down below I want to create a new function, for example save a country and this uh, function will be uh, public as well. So here is a parameter I want to add a new country of a type uh, string. Okay. And down below I want to uh, set the value of our uh, mutable live data or uh, underscore country to uh, the value from the parameters of this function. So new country. And uh, that way we are going to only expose uh, this uh, public uh, read only variable and not this first one. So now let me just open this uh, main activity so you can see how our activity looks like. So here uh, our activity is just uh, basic and simple. We have this uh, setup action bar with nav controller so we can uh, navigate back from our second fragment to our first fragment. And uh, let's open up our uh, first fragment. So as you can see this is how our first fragment uh, looks like. So we have uh, one uh, edit text and uh, one button. And uh, here here basically what I want to do, uh, I want to uh, initialize first uh, view model. So private uh, val shared uh, 
view model and here I'm going to use a by keyword so I can uh, delegate this uh, view model initialization uh, to a delegate called uh, activity view models so uh, you are already familiar with uh, view models uh, delegate so uh, let me just add here a type so uh, you are already familiar with uh, delegate called uh, view models but this one is activity view models and uh, this uh, delegate is basically scoping our uh, shared view model instance to activity instead of this uh, fragment so now our shared view model is a scope to our main activity and not just our first fragment and uh, later from our second fragment we're going to also scope uh, this uh, shared view model to activity so we can uh, share the values between those two fragments and now first let me just call this uh, shared view models and let's just observe this uh, country uh, live data object so let's observe here let me just pass uh, uh, view lifecycle owner and here let's observe the country here I can just uh, call a country and here I can call binding dot uh, first edit text dot uh, set text and here I can call a country so basically uh, whenever we open our application uh, we want to get the text from our uh, live data from a uh, view model and uh, set that uh, value to our uh, edit text and uh, down below i want to call a uh, binding dot uh, first uh, button and here i want to add uh, on a uh, click listener so whenever we click on our uh, button i want to call a shared view model then a uh, save country and here i want to get a text from our first uh, edit text I want to convert that to string and I want to save that value to our shared view model. And of course, after that, I want to navigate. Uh, so uh, from action uh, first fragment to a second fragment. OK, and uh, let me just uh, open this application so you can see how our application uh, will look like uh, now. So now uh, when we run our application, uh, you will see that uh, our edit text here is uh, populated with this uh, country that says uh, Serbia. And that's the default value which we have already specified inside our uh, shared view model so as you can see right here and uh, now basically whenever I uh, change the value here and press a save button then we're going to save a new value to our uh, shared view model but uh, before I continue using this application I just want to uh, basically copy the same thing to our uh, second fragment so I'm going to just copy uh, those lines of code and here uh, in our second fragment I also want to initialize this uh, view model so shared view model by uh, activity view models okay because we want to scope uh, this shared view model to activity so we can share the values between uh, those uh, first and second fragment and uh, here inside i'm going to paste uh, the same code from our first fragment and uh, just uh, change here uh, those views so uh, second uh, edit text here a second uh, button and here a second uh, edit text as well and here let's change this action so action second fragment to first fragment so now let me just open this uh, application so we can see how our uh, shared uh, view model will work so now uh, as you can see default value is uh, serbia which we have inside our shared view model and now let's try and change this for example to uh, india and now uh, when i press save uh, this india value will be saved inside our shared view model and we're going to get uh, navigated to our second uh, fragment and our second fragment will again show this value from our shared view model so click save and as you can see now uh, we are inside our second fragment and this uh, second fragment is uh, displaying that uh, same value from our shared view model so what does this actually means well it means that uh, inside our first fragment we have successfully saved this uh, country to our shared view model and we have successfully read that uh, same value to our uh, second fragment and uh, that's basically how our uh, shared view model is uh, working so uh, basically we are sharing the instance of uh, this same uh, view model between uh, multiple fragments and uh, this uh, shared view model is uh, scoped to uh, our uh, main activity so of course uh, if you don't want to use this uh, activity view models uh, delegate you can also initialize uh, this uh, view model in an uh, old way so for example we can just uh, uh, comment this out and here i can write for example let me see a uh, private late init var a uh, shared view model and uh, down below we can also call this uh, shared view model then we can use a uh, view uh, model provider and uh, here for example we can uh, pass uh, this then we can call a uh, get and here we can call our shared view model class so now let's see uh, what will happen if we run our application so here we have a first fragment and the default value here is uh, serbia so now let's rename this serbia to india and let's uh, save this value to our uh, shared view model so click save 
and now as you can see inside our second fragment uh, this uh, value has not been changed and uh, why is that well it's because that uh, those fragments using a different instance of our uh, shared view model and uh, in our second fragment we can see that this uh, shared view model is not scoped to activity instead it's uh, scoped to a fragment and if we want to scope this uh, view model in this old way to activity we can uh, here pass a require activity instead of this because a require activity is actually pointing to our uh, main activity and uh, now if we run our application uh, everything will work uh, just fine as before so here let's change this to India for example okay click save and now as you can see that uh, shared view model is uh, sharing its uh, instance between uh, multiple fragments as before. So uh, now you can see that there are two ways of uh, instantiating this uh, view model. So you can do that uh, in old way, but you need to be careful and uh, here in a view model provider you need to pass require activity instead of uh, this. If you want to uh, share this uh, view model instance of course but uh, me personally i prefer the first way of uh, using this activity view models uh, delegate and uh, as you can see our application is uh, working perfectly fine and uh, we are successfully sharing our shared view model instance between uh, multiple fragments so uh, that will be all for this video i hope you enjoyed please uh, like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you next one I die, I'm a legend when they lay me down to rest